Our top story, the protests that have uh, taken over the world. People are out on the streets in over 80 cities uh, in Iran protesting against the death of 22-year-old Mehsa Amini. Amini recently died in custody in Iran. Her crime not wearing a hijab properly, according to the so-called morality police. Iranians have taken to the streets for the 10th consecutive night as the West Asian nation deals with its largest protests in years. But uh, it is not just Iran that is uh, protesting against Amini's death. Protesters have taken to the streets across the world. From London to Paris, Iran's anti-hijab protests have gone truly global. In West Asia itself, there have been protests in neighboring Iraq, Turkey and Syria. Protesters rallied outside the UN consulate in Iraq's Kurdish region, holding up posters and photographs of Mehsina Amini. Demonstrators chanted women, life and freedom as women took to the streets calling for justice. In Syria too, the scenes were similar. Hundreds of women protested in the Kurdish-controlled North Syria. Some cut their hair, others burnt their headscarves. Turkey too has witnessed similar protests in the last few days. These protests come even as Iran continues to deny any role in the death of the 22-year-old woman. It's not just West Asia though. These protests have spread to Europe as well. In London, clashes erupted outside the Iranian embassy. Protesters clashed with security forces as riot police were deployed at the scenes of the clashes. In Paris, the French police used tear gas to prevent the protests. This is hundreds of people who are marching to the Iranian embassy in Paris. The police first uh, blocked the path of the protesters, then they used tear gas to disperse them. In Greece, Iranian women cut off their hair and burnt their hijabs, with many of them chanting, mad, mad dictator. Men too joined the women in these protests, shaving off their hair. In New York too, public anger escalated over Amini's death as protesters called for the prosecution of Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi. Iran has denounced the global anti-hijab protests, criticizing Washington's support for the so-called rioters. Tehran has also summoned the British and Norwegian ambassadors over what it called interference in hostile media coverage of the issue. Don't be racist. Don't be racist.